Princess Diana was loved all over the world. She was down to earth, funny, a caring mother, and a wonderful role model for many. The tragic car accident in Paris that ended Diana's life became a moment no one will ever forget. Diana was mourned all over the world, and her legacy will last forever. But what really happened that night in Paris? And what were her injuries? Now, Surgeon Monsef Daman, who tried to save Diana's life on that horrible night, has spoken out for the first time. Diana's passing was a shock to an entire nation, and her sons, William and Harry, were left without a mother. The terrible car crash and the potential cause of it have been discussed and debated many times. However, one person who found himself in the middle of the tragedy has now stepped forward. Surgeon Monsef Daman was working at a hospital in Paris at the time, and it was he who was charged with trying to keep Diana alive. In a new interview, he's told the entire story of what really happened. The thought that you have lost an important person for whom you cared personally marks you for life. To begin with, Daman wasn't even supposed to have worked that night. As a young duty general surgeon at the biggest hospital in France, his wife was pregnant at the time. They were due to go on holiday away from Paris, but since his wife was pregnant with the couple's second child, they decided to stay. As a result, Daman worked all summer. Since he was a junior doctor, the shifts were very long, and this particular weekend, he started working at 8 a.m., but was still on duty at 2 a.m. the following morning. Daman recalled it being a pretty easy day. He was able to take some moments of rest and hadn't been asked to perform any difficult procedures. But at 2 a.m. in the morning, everything changed dramatically. At approximately 12.23 a.m., the car that Diana was traveling in crashed in a Parisian tunnel. She received lengthy treatment by doctors at the scene, but suffered cardiac arrest while in the ambulance. By six minutes past two in the morning, Diana had reached the hospital. I was resting in the duty room when I got a call from Bruno Rao, the senior duty anesthesiast, telling me to go to the emergency room. I wasn't told it was Lady Diana, but only that there'd been a serious accident involving a young woman. Daman was 33 years of age at the time. When he arrived from the restroom, located about 50 meters from the emergency department, he understood how serious things were. And as he walked into the room, he was informed that the person laying on the stretcher was Princess Diana. It only took that moment for all this unusual activity to become clear to me. For any doctor, any surgeon, it is of very great importance to be faced with such a young woman who is in this condition, but of course, even more so if she is a princess. Upon Diana's arrival at the hospital, she underwent an x-ray that revealed that she had suffered serious internal injuries she immediately received a blood transfusion. Just 15 minutes after arriving, Diana suffered another cardiac arrest. Daman performed a surgical procedure, but the princess's injuries were too grave. Her heart simply would not restart. Daman explained, We tried electric shocks several times, and as I had done in the emergency room, cardiac massage. Professor Rao had administered adrenaline, but we could not get her heart beating again. Daman and his medical team fought to keep Diana alive, but in the end, there wasn't much they could do. He explained that the hospital, Petit Salpetriere, was one of the best centers in the whole of France for these types of emergencies, and saving people who have been brought in made him happy and proud. In Diana's case, he felt hope at the beginning but ultimately, they couldn't save her. We fought hard. We tried a lot. Really an awful lot. Frankly, when you are working in those conditions, you don't notice the passage of time. 
The only thing that is important is that we do everything possible for this young woman. We could not save her, and that affected us very much. Every year, as August approaches, Monsef Daman, who now works as a surgeon in the French town of Antibes, thinks about that terrible night at the hospital in 1997. He, just like millions of people around the world, watched the funeral. It was a terrible tragedy. I didn't go back to it all the time because a lot of years have gone by. But every time a new book about Diana's death has come out in France, it has been sent to me. So I have a collection of such books, unfortunately. Princess Diana is still loved by people all around the world, as her spirit and legacy lives on. A new documentary about the late princess is set to air soon. In the 90-minute film, as reported by Express, new revelations about Princess Diana's last days will come to light. Journalist and royal expert Richard Kay appears in the documentary. He revealed that he was the last person who spoke to Diana before the tragic car crash. Kay recalled, I spoke to her that night. The police said that the last call she made was to me. One year before her passing, Diana and Prince Charles finally divorced. Certain reports now insist that Diana was afraid the Queen and Charles were plotting to separate her from Harry and William. This comes according to biographer Howard Hodgson, author of the 2007 book Charles, The Man Who Will Be King. She was well aware that the Queen had the constitutional right and authority under common law to take control of both boys' care and education. As such, she could become the boy's guardian or even appoint one. This would probably be their father, and that might lead to Diana's exclusion if she finally burned all her bridges with the royal family. After the split from Prince Charles, Richard Kay said that he felt that Diana was in quite a good place. She was starting a new chapter in her life, when suddenly, everything was taken away from her and her children. Kay said, She was desperate to try and make a fresh start to do something different, to explore a different kind of royalty. And she wanted to come back and see her boys. The new documentary about Princess Diana will celebrate her remarkable life, according to executive producer David Glover. The documentary came at the perfect time to re-examine her life and legacy. There is something a bit magical about Princess Diana, and despite the difficulties in her personal life, she managed to use her connection with people to do huge amounts of good. Her 60th birthday feels like the perfect time to re-examine her life and legacy and explore just how she went from a relatively unknown teenager to the most mourned person who ever lived. In 2017, Harry and William announced the unveiling of a new statue of their mother. On July 1st, the statue is to be unveiled in the Sunken Garden at Kensington Palace. Latest reports state that Harry will attend his mother's statue unveiling, though Meghan Markle won't be there. Instead, she will stay at the couple's Montecito home to take care of their newborn baby. Princess Diana will forever be in our hearts. Thank you, Monsef Daman, and the rest of the medical team for doing everything you could to save Diana's life. You and all medical workers are heroes in our eyes. Thank you for watching!